This exhibition starts to break apart stereotypes or preconceived ideas of what Africa is. It's called Urban Exis because for a lot of people Africa is very rural so you ask them to paint a picture and all they talk about you know, is the safari, the landscapes but never really about the, the city. So we thought we, you know, this exhibition should start to talk about the urban landscape and explore contemporary Africa right now. A lot of the artists work in the cities, Johannesburg, Cape Town, Harare and Kenya. Southern Africa, South Africa, Zimbabwe, Namibia with a few touch points in Angola and what they represent is the current discourse that takes into account the history, the tumultuous history of Southern Africa. So all the way down from discovery and the colonial period focusing also on the apartheid era and the transitional phase and the current post-colonial, post-apartheid period. These are artists at the forefront of contemporary practice. Some of the works um, have been exhibited at the Guggenheim, Venice Biennale, uh, Tate Modern. So we're looking at the big hitters when it comes to contemporary Southern African art. By a quirk of fate, one Monday morning at 9 a.m. last June, I had Michael Memeo and Gerald Senyangori turn up on the doorstep of my gallery in Harare. The first thing I said to them was, what kind of people are you who turn up to an art gallery at 9 o'clock on a Monday morning? And when I found out they're Australians, I really gave them a hard time. I've been living in Zimbabwe and having found a, a first floor gallery, Harare, but I grew up in Australia and by an accident of fate ended up in Zimbabwe. So one of the things that I've really been thinking about for the last few years of how to connect some of the aspects of my Australian experience which have motivated some of the ideas that I've been developing at the gallery. So the Another Antipodes exhibition looks to challenge the preconceptions when we look sideways to contemporary Africa. Often there's many of these preconceptions that still surround Africa, Africans and indeed African art. What Another Antipodes Inc. Uh, looks to challenge is, is, and indeed present is uh, contemporary African art in a new light, um, presenting Africa as a dynamic uh, multitude of different opinions, of cultures, uh, of artistic practice. We hope that the West Australian public will come and join us uh, as part of the City of Perth Winter Arts Festival and indeed at our major exhibition down in Fremantle. I mean, it's, it's something uh, that's going to be very spontaneous. Uh, it's, it's pretty much like, I mean, one of my canvases is always going to be a car. For me, painting a car is something that is more balanced. It goes to the people. It's, it's like uh, an art radio comes to you than you coming to a visual art. My city, there's a, there's, there's a lot of energy happening, especially with the, the new generation where I'm from. Back then, people used to not be in, traveling as much and getting to see the world and coming back, engaging, coming with new ideas in Harare. So we are growing as a city and we have got so much to learn from other cities and that was one of my reasons to come here to Perth, to learn and yeah, get inspired and uh, at the same time uh, exchange. The way the art world is at the moment in Australia is, uh, is dire. So it is quite encouraging to see quite uh, Amazing, different, a breath of fresh air, this art. Great to see the sponsors involved in it. Art needs sponsoring, and that's how magic happens. An exhibition of this kind can happen without the support of the community and business. We've been fortunate enough to be sponsored by our major sponsor, MJA Studios, an architecture firm based in Subiaco, as well as South African Airways, which brought a lot of our visiting artists to Perth, Quest Apartment Hotel Fremantle, our accommodation sponsor and the city of Fremantle that is hosting this exhibition for the duration of his course. Out on the Move for our education component, Art Africa Magazine, our international media partner, and PS Art Space where the exhibition is sitting at the moment. I think it's really important for Western Australia and especially Perth to have an exhibition like this because it helps us understand where our geography really lies and that we're a Indian Ocean city and that we really need to keep building relationships and dialogue between us and other Indian Ocean cities. There's a lot of misconceptions about 
African uh, and the African continent in, in general in, in Western Australia, but which is quite funny because we have such a strong connection with Africa in terms of so many um, people have migrated here, so many companies do business over there. But I think what this exhibition does is it really helps to change perceptions about progressiveness of the African continent. I'd say get down to the show. It's at uh, Pizzazz down in Fremantle on Pakenham Street. It's an amazing show. There's work from performance-based art, video-based art, figurative art, and it's something that you really need to see. So get down there. 15th of June to the 22nd of July.